Hey YouTube, Sandy Frank here, and um, today it's a pretty special video because this is my Pokemon um, PSA submission video, and um, I've got I went through them, my cards, and um, it was very tough to figure out which ones I wanted to send in, um, and I I actually had a lot more that I wanted to send in send in. But when it came to doing the submissions, like, holy cow, this is going to be more than I thought. So I had to cut it down a little ways. So I think there's like 120 cards here, maybe a little bit less, or no, 115. So here's the cards that I'm sending in. And what's going to be cool <clears throat> is when you guys watch this video, you're not going to have to wait six months like I am to see the cards come back. Because when I post this video, I'm actually... I'm going to post the return um, video like a day or two or maybe three days after this video. So, um, that way, if you're interested in seeing what these cards got, um, you won't have to wait six months. Alright, so here's the first one. We've got Entai, and this is the Cracked Ice version from Secret Wonders. It's like from a uh, promo got Entai, another promo. Um, this one, um, I think it's from a 10, but it was, um, it was around that Call of Legends era when they had the uh, Shining Legends. Okay, and then here is Suicune, Suicune, or Suicune, I've heard people say it different ways, but that's, there's a Cracked Ice version, and again, we got the um, the regular um, Call of Legends style one there. <clears throat> then the next one, I have to keep these in the same order because this is exactly how I logged them into uh, PSA. We got the Raikou um, Cracked Ice, and again, we got the Raikou um, Call of Legends style, Shining Legend. All right, so we have the Gyarados. The um, cracked ice version of that one. That's from Heart Gold Soul Silver set, but this is probably a promo. And Raichu. So I found all of my really nice cracked ice um, older Pokemon cards to send in from the Heart Gold Soul Silver era. All right, so we have this Pikachu. This is from POP um, Series Six. Cool um, hollow there. And this is my my all time favorite uh, Pokemon is a Pikachu. So there's quite a few Pikachu's that I had to pick out of these. Here's one. Um, I have a ton of these because uh, they came in special packs of cards, and um, I ended up buying quite a few and kept all my Pikachu's. And this was one of the nicer ones. So I'm gonna send it in. I don't think it's worth much, but I just want to send it in. And then here's an awesome uh, Zapdos. This is from Generations, XY Generations. Pretty cool card, full art. And also from that same set, the Articuno full art. We have another POP series um, from Series 4, Mew, Hollow. Um, this one is actually from Legendary Treasures from Black and White Era. <clears throat> Excuse me. Full Art Mew. With the, it's from the Radiant Collection. That's why it's got that weird sparkle in the background. But This card really shocked me of how much uh, it goes for graded. So we'll see what we get. We get... Whoop. We get uh, we have Flareon EX Full Art. This is from the Generation set. We've got Sylveon EX Full Art. With there's an Eevee back there. From um, these are Radiant Collection cards too. Um, Gardevoir EX Full Art. And this one is also from the Legendary Treasures Radiant Collection, with that sparkle in the background. Shaman EX Full Art. <clears throat> Excuse me. Next, I love this Pikachu card. Um, this is from Generation Set Full Art. 
Yeah, it's Radiant Collection also. I got this awesome Pikachu. I just pulled this um, uh, from a Cosmic Eclipse pack. Um, beautiful card. I love it. It's a secret rare. Um, this is a really cool Pikachu card. I, I picked cards that I really liked. I didn't, didn't care... I don't care a whole lot how much they end up being worth. I just want these cards slabbed and in my collection. And plus, you're protecting them for, you know, who knows how long they'll last in those uh, PSA um, holders. So this is a Charizard from Radiant Collection um, from the uh, Generation set. Pretty cool card. It wasn't very tough to pull these, but um, I wanted, this was the nicest looking one that I had. And then we got a Charizard EX. I believe this is a promo. There's another Charizard EX promo. You get these from like tins or sets and stuff. And um, I like the promo cards. Here is a hollow um, Charizard from Dragon Majesty. Again... Um, you probably saw a video of, uh, I, I bought this off of eBay, and this was the nicest one out of that group. And here's another recent pickup. This Charizard Full Art GX. Um, it's another promo, but um, I wanted to uh, have all three of these um, Charizard um, GXs. The um, This is the uh, one from the promo. <clears throat> And then I have, you probably saw the video of when I um, got this uh, um, on eBay. There was um, like a lot of Pokemon cards, and really the nicest ones were these Japanese cards, which I didn't even really consider getting. But when I got the cards, these were the nicest ones, so I'm going to send them in. Here's Pichu, and a Venomoth from Jungle. Got a Flareon Jungle, and this one reminds me of uh, Jim Mint Pokemon. Go check out his channel; it's awesome. A little dedication to to Jim Mint Pokemon that kind of inspired me to even want to send cards off to get PSA graded. So there is the Jolteon, <clears throat> and then this is from Hidden Fates Charizard GX. We've got, I love the uh, arts on these um, full arts from the Red and Blue collection. Um, it's like the uh, around the 20th anniversary of Pokemon. This is the Venusaur EX. This is one of the coolest ever Pikachu cards. It's one from the Red and Blue collection also. And the Blastoise. And another Charizard EX. This one is from Evolutions. And then there, here's a really cool Pikachu. This is from McDonald's, believe it or not. McDonald's, you can get Pokemon cards from there sometimes. And this was a really nice one. Um, it's not going to get a, a, a 10 because you can tell it's off-center. But I really like this card. Um, there's the McDonald's symbol down there. Set symbol. Really nice um, Gardevoir Hollow from Delta Species. Thought it was nice enough to get graded. And a Vaporeon from that same set. These are, have really nice looking hollows on there. Real clean. We got Charizard from Boundaries Cross. Except this is a special one that's got the, the Cosmo. Um, Hollow. There you can see it. And then we have the Charizard from Legendary Treasures. And of course that's the regular one from the set. This one's not going to get a great grade though because I was looking at the back. All my co corners have a lot of wear on them for some, for some reason. <clears throat> I don't know if they're all like that or what. So we got Jolteon from P.O.P. Series 3 Hollow. And the Flareon from P.O.P. Series 3. Alright, next we have 
a tag team GX, uh, Charizard and Brakeson. So hopefully that gets a nice grade. You got Gengar and Mimikyu GX. That's pretty awesome car, uh, pack or card art right there. And Reshiram and Ze Zekrom. Uh, of course, uh, those two will always be remembered together from the Black and White series. And got Mewtwo and Mew. I picked this up off of eBay and it was just perfect. So I'm definitely sending it in full art there. This one, um, I just got this um, recently in an eBay purchase. Um, I had one that I, from a um, Hidden Fates um, Elite Trainer box. And mine was way off centered. So I did send it in because I didn't think I'd get another one. And then I found a perfect one. So this one, I really hope that gets a 10. It's a, one of the most amazing looking Pokemon cards that have come out in years. And here's another amazing card. It's the Latias and Latios um, tag team full art. Beautiful card. Just a... Uh, a really special card um, and I think it's gonna be very popular for years I love the the uh, the art on this one Espeon and Deoxys GX tag team and this is from a um, promo also we've got Eevee and Snorlax tag team I just think that's a cool looking card um, I can't remember what set this I think it's from um, Team Up. And here's some secret rares. We got the Arceus and Dialga and Palkia GX full art. These are rainbow hyper rares are really tough to pull and beautiful cards. And I wanted to uh, send in all of the ones I, that I have, but I settled on I had to pare down the uh, order I had to let leave some off that I didn't think had a chance at a 10 there's a Pikachu and Zekrom GX secret rare and here is the big Reshiram and Charizard and it this one looks pretty good I really hope this gets a 10 so it's a, it's a and it probably won't because it's it's probably headed towards a nine because it's kind of off-center on the back, but the front looks great, so we'll see. It'll be interesting. And we have the Solgaleo and Lunala GX. Really cool looking card. It's very clean. We've got the Espeon GX. Beautiful card. Just like all the hyper rares. And we got a Vile Plume. GX full art. Got the Oricorio full art GX. And this is the big one. This is the one that that cost me the most because I wanted to get one of these to send in and uh could never pull one out of um burning shadow, so I went ahead and picked one up that was in really good condition. I expect to get a 9, I don't expect a 10 out of this because there's a little bit of whitening on a couple of these corners. But, beautiful card. Uh, it's definitely from the uh, first printing because it's the edges aren't all jacked up like uh, in the, the reprint versions are. So, I'm really happy with this card and um, can't wait to get it graded. And we got Silvali GX. And now we have some uh, trainer full arts. We got the Jesse and James from Hidden Fates. Pretty awesome card there. Um, Team Yell Grunt. This is like the newest card that I have here. I think this is from Sword and Shield. Is that one full art? I gotta keep keep the stack straight because I cannot get these out of order. We got Bonnie full art. We've got Roller Skater. Love the artwork on this one. Really nice. They did some really nice jobs on these uh, full art trainers here the last few sets. 
this is a great looking card. Uh, Mallow and Lana. Um, they really got the uh, the um, the re I don't even call that the uh, hollow. The hollow looks really good. Um, not too gaudy looking, you know. It's it's really nice. <clears throat> and another awesome one, red and blue. And um, I actually have another one of these that I well, if I do another submission, I'll send it with the the uh, next submission because it's it's in good shape. Now this one. I don't have too many vintage cards to send in on this. Um, but here's a Machamp. And I know um, a lot of these are from like, uh, there's tons of these that say first edition, but this one actually says first edition and is does not have the shadow. So I think this might be a little tougher to get. So I'm sending it in. Um, it's not in good condition, but it is a first edition um, base set card. There's a really nice Nine Tails from the base set. Should get a nice grade. Got here's another rough condition, but it is first edition with um. There's no shadow there, of course. Um, you know, I just figure anything from first edition um, base set is worth grading. Dark Arbok, Team Rocket. Nice one. And from Jungle, got Mr. Mime. Okay, now this is from Hidden Fates. Uh, full Art Aether Paradise Conservation Area. Pretty cool card. Uh, we got Primal Groudon EX. I'm a fan of the uh, Megas, so um, I have quite a few of these to send in. This is a secret rare, Mega Lucario EX from Furious Fists. And we got Mega Mewtwo EX. Uh, we got a Mega Charizard EX. This one, it's not going to get a 10. Probably won't even get a 9. I just really like the card. It's got some definite edge wear. I do have another one that I sent through the card shop that's in a lot better shape, so I'll, uh, I'm sure this one will get a lower grade, and I'll probably sell this one. And we've got Primal Kyogre EX. Um, this one's from Radiant Collection. Um, I, this card looks really nice. Mega Gardevoir EX. And this was pretty much perfect, so... Hopefully it'll get a 10. But I know those are tough to get good grades on. Mega Charizard EX. This is from Generations. Really cool looking card. Mega Charizard EX. This is from Evolution. We got a Mega Blastoise EX. And that one is from Generations. And another Mega Blastoise EX. And that one is from the XY base set. And we got Mega Venus Venusaur EX. I don't know why I'm saying Venusaur. Venusaur. Mega Rayquaza EX. Another one. These are both from uh, Roaring Skies. And now here's some full arts. We got um, Shining Gyarados EX. We've got Mewtwo EX. And um, this card, I it came from a um, like a super premium box set that I could never afford to get. And um, I actually found it in one of those little cubes. It's like wow, I because I recognize the cards. Like man, I gotta snatch up this cube. Um, so I didn't have to buy that big set. Um, we got Dark Rite EX. Picked this off of eBay just recently. Um, got Mega Gallade EX Full Art. These Mega Full Arts are awesome. Um, Primal Groudon EX Full Art. Beautiful arts on these. 
They're going to look great in slabs. Uh, we got Mega Mewtwo EX. We've got Mega Tyranitar, Tyranitar EX. And this is one of my favorite ones. Uh, Primal Kyogre EX. And we've got a Lunala GX full art. This one is actually a promo, an EV GX full art, but I just think it's really cool. And here's some Hidden Fates cards. We've got the Tapu Finny GX. Really cool how the light shines off his eyes. We've got Darkrai GX. These uh, full art shining cards from Hidden Fates are just. They're gorgeous. <laughs> what a great set. Um, we got Silvali GX. Got Decidui GX. This one's cool. Greninja EX. GX, not EX. Turtonator GX. And this card is so tough to get graded get good grades on but it is a stunning card this shiny Mew um, it's almost impossible to get a 10 out of these for some reason but I did notice this has no chance because it's got a little bit of a white couple ticks on the back and it's a little bit off center so hopefully it gets a 9 but um, I'm gonna definitely gonna try to collect the uh, shining set shining cards from that set and the promos like this uh, Shining Genesect, I actually pulled this from a pack. It just it just pops, man. What a great looking card. Okay, here's some Sandstorm EX cards. We got Lunatone. We got Soul Rock. Picked these up years and years and years ago. And they, uh, of course, survived because I, I try to take good care of them. Um, but I felt like these need to get sent in because they're they're just so old and really nice condition. Sableye. And we've got Flareon. And Jolteon. All of those were Sandstorm. And this one I just picked up. Beautiful Shining Charizard. Secret Rare from Plasma Storm. And I thought this was going to have a good chance at a good grade, but there is a problem with the card. And um, if you can tell, that there's like a little edge right there that's kind of got a little slight bend in it. So it's going to get a bad grade, but I still want to grade it. I don't know if you can tell. I'm back here. So that's one of the bad things about, about you can kind of see the little edge. is a little slight bend right at the edge of the card. It's going to kill it from having a nice grade. Everything else about it is great. Centering is great. So this will be a good test to see what PSA will do with this. Um, I hope that that's considered something minor, but I don't think I think it's major. So if it gets an 8, I'll probably be shocked. Well, I was hoping it would get a 9. Okay, so we got some level um, X. Um, this is the last little bit here. Heat Ran Level X. We got Tan Growth Level X. These are from the Platinum and um, the Platinum and Diamond Pearl Airs. Rayquaza yeah, uh, Level X. Dark Rye Level X. Infernopy Level X. These are really pretty cards. Um, Lucario level X. I don't even care if some of the promos are beautiful. And Charizard level X. This one, the front looks great, but the back is really bad. Very worn. Um, they probably played it a lot. So, but the front looks great. And um, I just want to have one slabbed. Um, I have, they have one of mine that I sent through the uh, local ho uh, hobby shop. Um, but, so I, this one will get a worse grade, I'm pretty sure. So I'll probably end up trading or selling this one. And last one, we got the Garchomp Level X. So, like I said, um, I'm going to have to wait probably six months to get these back. 
But through the magic of YouTube, I'll be posting the return video of this in like three days. All right, so stay tuned for more videos.